So as promised on day eight, a week it went by, I said I would stand in front of you guys naked. Well, not naked. You know, I would let you see my body and how it has changed. Now, you remember on day one, I was 197 pounds. Now, I'm seven pounds lighter in a week. I lost a pound a day, just about. So, I am now 190 pounds, and this is the new body that I have. It's, it's a little better. You can see my muscles develop more. My chest looks a little more developed. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my voice is gone. But my abs have shown a little more. Not the way I want them to, but a lot of people will be happy with abs like this. You can see my triceps coming in a little more. My back is more developed. Now, that's just from losing seven pounds. Now, I look like I'm bigger because you can see the muscle more. I'm really not. You know, it's just being more cut up. So, I'm going to do my waistline. When you're measuring your waistline, folks, you want to measure your waistline, whoa, under, right under your belly button. Remember, it was 32 and a half. So, let's see what we have now. Boo boo. Whoa. Now it's 31. Now my waistline sits at 31. So I lost an inch and a half around my waistline just from doing my workouts. For breakfast, I'm having two bowls of oatmeal. I probably put a banana in. What the fuck is wrong with this banana? I probably put this nasty ass banana in it because I love who. So it is day eight. Start of a brand new week. So for the next two weeks, I'm going to be doing abs every day, except for that day that I take off. Now, because your abdominals and your calves are endurance muscles, you can work them out every day, as long as you don't do too much. I have a 15-pound weight in my hand. I'm going to do 20 jack knives. There we go. Uh, uh. If you can't do jack knives, keep your feet on the floor. You don't have to do a jack knife. A jack knife is basically... When your body comes out to straightness, arm straight, leg straight, and you meet them both in the, in the center. Now, it's a really good exercise for the lower abs, the upper abs, as well as your wings. So you want to do 20 jack knives, and after you do 20 jack knives, you want to go into uh, sky reaches is what I call them. It's another tough abdominal exercise that I'll be doing. You have that same weight. If you have five pounds, ladies, uh, gentlemen, 10 pounds, you want to hold it straight into the air, and you want to just push it to the ceiling, you know what I'm saying, touch the sky with it. So, feet on the ground, and you want to do 20 of these. Now, these are done for speed, because you want to explode out. So, trying to get 20 of these, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, especially after you just did the jackknives. Now, I don't really know what your number I'm on. As usual, I'm always running my mouth when I'm doing an exercise, so I don't know which number I'm on. So I guess I'll stop soon. Now, if I'm under 20, don't try to knock me for it, y'all, because I'm trying to show you what to do. After that, immediately, I guess that was 20, I don't know, maybe less. Immediately go into your taps with your 15-pound weight. Bang, 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 do 20 of those. Back and forth is one. After that, you go outside and get your run in. You then, you come back and you can do this again at the end. So you do this before your run. You come back, you do this after your run. Look at me sweating already. And then you got yourself a nice workout. You know, it's my ritual to show y'all me going down the stairs. Getting dark already. Yeah, ain't even five o'clock. Rocking Empire State of Mind. Feeling pretty fucking fabulous. Here comes that light. Oh no, it's green. No, love you. I'm divorcing the other light. I found one that loved me. Oh yeah, let's go. Still going. I'm losing light fast though. I will say that. Because I'm stepping it up on my strength training, I can step it down on the cardio a bit. And believe it or not, the strength training actually makes you lose the weight a little faster. So that's what I'm gonna do. To the guy or gal, who asked me how to get your quads and glutes stronger for soccer. Well, here are five exercises that'll get them mighty, mighty.
All right, I got one more round, and then I'm heading back. Three rounds of these, 10 each. Oh boy, you be looking sexy! It's almost a full moon, y'all. Look at that. Ow! Nah, <laughs> I'm about to head back home. I, I did my sets. Let's go, where y'all at? Somebody said they lost eight pounds. Congratulations. I hope these damn cars see me. I want to do all this work to get smacked by a gypsy taxi. <laughs> Time to do my Fort Greene check-in. How I'm feeling? I'm feeling good. How I'm looking? I'm looking good. How I'm smelling? I ain't smelling so good. Here's an interesting fact. You know, 18 wheelers are 53 feet long, right? You know, you have to jump 53 feet, which means this whole damn rig to qualify in a triple jump. So can you imagine three jumps, leaping that whole rig? I can, <laughs> cause I'm a triple jump. All right, time to go. Ain't no use to talking to y'all now. It's so dark out here, I know you can't see my black ass. High bike rides, look how high they are. Gotta love it. Anyway, they make those specialty bikes. So they can ride high above the traffic, I guess. I don't know how fun it is. I don't know if it's extra work for the legs, extra push, the cycle. I don't really know. I'll tell you what I do know. You won't see my ass on one of those. You know they look fun as hell. Because if your ass get hit, bang, it's over. Well, I'm going to go back in and do these abs. Give me some D9. And I'll see you on day 9 This Dog TV. Oh, look at the after workout shot. Bow, 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 bow. No, I'm just messing with you.